How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today is a special day. We're gonna unlock the latest and greatest Metadev, which is Metadev Fate. So I'm sure most of you guys know by now that you can get different Metadev skins in this game. There's I think five or six of them and Metadev Fate was the newest one that you could get if you watch the BCX finals last weekend a couple days ago really and this is the code that i got so let's see if it works i hope it does and we got it better than fate i'm not gonna lie the first time i saw this skin i mean the orb wasn't there it wasn't part of it when you see the orb you're like oh yeah that's that's clearly a different skin but when I first saw the skin, it was just her face or whatever, and I literally thought it was the base skin for Fate. Because it looks so similar to the base skin. In fact, let's just take a look. Shall we? Metadev Fate. I, I was really hoping it, it would be uh, a different looking skin. Like, look, it's, it's, it's nearly identical here. Here's base Fate. Yeah, I mean... It's a little bit different, but it's kind of kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know, in the past meta devs, it was a little more noticeable. I, I would say, like here's meta dev Ember, and then uh, the base Ember looks, you know, base Ember looks like this, and then meta dev Ember looks like this. I mean, that's a huge difference. And same with uh, Orion. You know, I could go on and on. This is meta dev Orion, and you you guys get the get the point. It it just to me, it wasn't that big of a difference but I'm still happy that fate got a meta dev and you know the scythe and the orb are really the stars of the show here the skin doesn't look that different but it's different enough it's a little bit different and the scythe and the orb are just beautiful they got like the wings of Icarus or something it's so cool so we're gonna play some games here and at the end of this video I will drop a second or rather my spare code that's right, I got two codes for Metadev Fate. One for me, and one for one of you guys. It can only be redeemed once, and I am gonna drop it at the end of this uh, video in the comments. I'll leave off the last digit so that you have to guess what the last digit is, but whoever can guess what the last digit is puts it in the uh, Malhalla. Boom, you guys got a Metadev Fate, or at least one of you. Also, in addition to the Metadev Fate, I'm gonna be dropping some other codes. Uh, both in today's video and in future videos so definitely subscribe notifications on if you're interested in those kind of drops that was a good play by bbq he knew exactly where i was gonna be he just ground pound and it was like i couldn't do anything but luckily Luckily, we're fine. Yeah, we should get him with that weapon throw. All right, that evened up the game kind of. I mean, I'm in yellow. He got a pretty good early gimp on me. There we go. There we go. We got him right back. I don't even think he touched me. Was that a zero to death? Nice patience on the ground pound. I like how he didn't go for like a side air or anything right there. He just went straight for the ground pound. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter what weapons I have. I just like to be creative. And unarmed, you know, 
can be very good. GG dude, GG. So, first game with Metadev Fate is a win! Feels good. And uh, let's, let's look at the different colors here, shall we? Usually I look at the different colors right away, but I just... <laughs> that eSports colors draws my attention. Also, the Skyforge looks amazing. Oh yeah, Charged OG looks really good, of course. We got the Gala colors, which for some reason change her eye colors to be white, which makes her look even more intense. <laughs> and then we have uh, Lucky Clover, that looks pretty cool. All these colors look good, pretty much. I mean, I wouldn't say there's really a bad looking color scheme in here. Uh, well, then again, let me, let me look at them all before I say that. I guess brown doesn't look that great. Just because her hair color is the same color as her clothes, it, do it just washes it out. I mean, they... They should have made her hair color a little bit different, like they do on some of these other skin. I guess they don't do that too much, but... <laughs> Why does her hair color have to match on some of these? Like, yellow. Let's make her hair and her eyes and everything yellow. Like, no, no. Like, just... You know, you can have a different color. Like, look at this. Her hair is dark and her, and her clothes are white. It looks really good, right? Kind of poppy. Alright, let's do, let's do this one. Gala colors, fate. I'm not saying I'm an artist or anything. I don't really know much about colors and like, all I, all I do is make thumbnails. That's a, that's the closest thing I do to make art, but I'm friends, I'm friends with artists. Does that count? My mom is an artist. My mom actually has a degree in art, but maybe, maybe some of that art degree, you know, trickled down to me. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so, but all right, go ahead and see X evade. See? Metadev Orion versus Metadev Fate. This is amazing. Oh man, I charged that one up too. Felt great. Meant to do a ground down sig. Ooh, that turn around down air, man. I don't get it too often, but when you do get it, it feels great, right? Oh my gosh, I gotta stop chase moving. It really makes it hard to hit this guy. That ground pound was so fast. ZX of A, nice ground pound. Right in the face again. Yeah! Finally, I hit the side zig. How amazing would this meta dev have been if the orb was actually animated and the wings like flapped around or something? Oh man, that would have been incredible. Uh-oh. I'm so scared of Orion six man. He keeps doing that early ground pound like That should be game no Yes, I've been wanting to hit that I love the down sig on fate GG dude GG. Oh Man, that is fun Fate is so much fun when she came out like I was a little bit skeptical skeptical about Orb still, because Orb was kind of new. Uh, let's see, Orb came out with Dusk, right? And Fate was the very next legend after Dusk, so it was like... 
Fate would be like uh, Mako to Greatsword, right? The second legend of that weapon or whatever. And a lot of people were iffy on Orb. Some said it was overpowered. Some said it wasn't. Uh, but I just, you know, it was a weird weapon. And But for some reason, I really like Fate. I love that she's like, you know, kind of like an enchantress or a witch or something. I don't, she's not even really like a witch. She, I don't, I need to brush up on the lore, but she's so cool. I just love her. Uh, let's do charged OG. This time I will switch up the weapons just to switch it up a little bit. I want to give her the Battle Pass 2 weapon. Uh, this one, <laughs> the Hotline Slash. It'll look amazing, trust me. And the Battle Pass 2 orb as well. This one, uh, Galactic Glitch. Look at how cool that looks. Actually, a different color, it probably looks better. I think esports colors, yeah. Okay, let's do esports colors and check out the scythe. It's so big. <laughs> oh, man. I love the scythe just because of how massive it is. All right, we're going against Master X Hunter. Is this the same guy I fought just a little bit ago? I don't remember. I, if I didn't fight him in the video, I think I fought him earlier today or yesterday. The name rings a bell. That's all I know. Then again, it's kind of a generic name, so I don't know. Maybe I fought somebody with similar names, but pretty sure I just fought this guy. I love that sig on the scythe. The side sig because it hits, but then it lingers. You know what I mean? I was hoping he would dodge down, but he's too good for that. the face he was about to side sig me with the hammer that would have been incredible Oh my gosh, I just stood there like an idiot right in the line of that recovery of Lance and he just bullied me with that. GG dude, GG. Man, Fate Orb is just insane. So are her, so is her sight. Fate's just insane in general. Give me level 31. Oh my gosh, one more game and I'll get level 31. All right, let's do Meditev Fate. Uh, I guess I'll do base colors at least once and base weapons again, just because I don't think I ever did the base. I like the soft color palette of the base uh, colors on this as well. It's kind of a... It, it, it suits the, the skin, obviously. Alright, going against another Scarlet. Back-to-back -back Scarlet. This one is Spooky. And I think I fought Spooky before, and I think he's a much better Scarlet than the last one. No offense uh, to the last one, but I think Spooky's going to make it a little more challenging for us here. We got Spooky. That was pretty good. He's a good... I can tell he's good, though. He's a good Scarlet.
Oh man, that side six set me up perfectly for his dodge, and then he just <laughs> side aired me. Boom! Finally got a kill with that ground pound. I'm probably better with orb, but... Scythe is fun too. Boom, that fully charged neutral sig. Oh man, he got me. Ring around the rosy, pockets full of posy. I got destroyed and fell down. GG dude, GG. And he disconnected. No, <laughs> why would you disconnect right before getting your rewards? <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, guys. Come on! Yes! Level 31 fate. I don't know why that makes me happy. I already have black colors with every legend in the game, but, you know, it's still exciting to me when I get a new level. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Metadev Fate gameplay. If you did, please gently tap that like button and uh, subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. Like I said in the beginning, I'm dropping another Metadev Fate code in the comments right after this. And I'll be dropping more codes in future videos as well. So hope to see you guys in the next one. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.